Lisa. So glad to see you today. I hope you and your families are surviving the stay at home order and doing school from home. These are hard times and the world has been through hard times like these before. There was the bird and swine flu. There was smallpox, the great depression, the world wars. These hard times leave behind a legacy in the mind. And this month, we're gonna talk about a legacy that Jesus left behind, and that's the Holy Spirit. So get up and get ready to worship our awesome God. Raise the game. Come on, raise the game. Are you ready? He gives us everything we could ever need To love the world around us To be a light in darkness He's with us every breath He's with us every step So we can leave fear in the dust behind us If you wanna raise the game He will give you strength To reach another level in Jesus' name If you wanna raise the game He will give you strength To reach another level in Jesus' name We are moving up, moving up We are making it, making it loud We're making it loud
it's time to play a game. And this week, our game is called Legacy, True or False? Now, there's been a lot of people in history that have left behind a legacy. And this week, we're gonna talk about five of those people. Are you ready? Now, just to make it a little bit easier, we're gonna put the image of the person up for you so you can kind of see what they look like. Are you ready? Question number one. Martin Luther King is who we're gonna talk about. So here's your question. Martin Luther King was an activist for civil rights. True or false? An activist for civil rights. Martin Luther King. It's true, he was. Our next person is Albert Einstein. He's got some crazy hair. Now, here's your question. Albert Einstein developed the theory of positivity. True or false? The theory of positivity. It's actually false. He actually developed the theory of relativity. Kind of tricked you there. Our next person is called Mother Teresa. Hmm. Now, here's your question. Mother Teresa was the first nun ever. True or false? First nun ever. It's false. She was a nun, but she wasn't the first one. She helped a lot of sick people. Our next person is called Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. And here's her question. Nelson Mandela fought for equal rights of all Africans. True or false? Equal rights for all Africans. True or false? It's true. Good job. Well done. Okay, here's our last one. Her name is Marie Curie. This is a tricky one. Here's your question. Marie Curie was the first person to win, to win two Nobel Prizes. The first person to win two Nobel Prizes. It's right, true. Now that's a legacy to leave behind. I hope you guys got them. Good job. Before we check out our episode on Grow TV with Carl, we wanna check out the story first. So pull out your Bible, or use your device with the YouVersion app or you can follow along on the screen. We're gonna read from Romans chapter eight, verses 12 through 17. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have no obligation, but it is not to the flesh to live according to it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you are put to death, the misdeeds of the body you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves, so that you will live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit, it you, the Spirit you receive brought your adoption to sonship. And by Him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are God's children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. Let's check out our episode. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. 
How's it going, kids? Good to see y'all. Glad you caught me, because I'm actually taking a trip soon. Long story short, but I haven't seen my family in quite a while. So, I'm gonna make my rounds and see everyone. You see, the thing is, my family's like confetti at a birthday party. They spread all over. So that means I'll be on the road a lot, going from state to state. Now, that doesn't sound like a big deal, but I tell you what, some of these states have some really weird laws and rules. Don't believe me? Check this out. In Alabama, it's illegal to drive with a blindfold on. I mean, come on, how am I supposed to get some well-needed beauty sleep if I have to look at the road the whole time? In Arizona, it's a crime if a donkey sleeps in a bathtub. What? So you're telling me, government, if I visit my Uncle Keith in Flagstaff, where's Albert the pet donkey supposed to sleep if I take his bed? In California, it's illegal to whistle for a lost canary bird if it's before 7 a.m., which I suppose isn't a huge inconvenience, since I could only whistle from 11 to 2. Finally, look at this one. Apparently, it's illegal to give a rat as a present in Montana. Now see, <laughs> this is too much. It's gone way too far. If I want to surprise my great aunt Ethel, who lives in the big sky country, with a big 10 pound albino rat for her birthday, I should be able to do so. That's my family's rats. Hey, TJ. Carl. How you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. I'm just checking up on you, man, seeing how everything's going in your neck of the woods. Aren't you supposed to be going on a trip this week? Yes, sir, I was just talking about that with the kids. Cool, man, so you excited? I was. Was? What happened, man? I tell you what, TJ, there are so many rules and regulations nowadays in every state. I'm just saying, it's just not gonna be fun. And I don't know why, 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 why would I even go? Oh, oh wow. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny because I was reading today's scripture and it was mentioning something about rules. Really? What verse? It's Romans 8, verses 12 through 17. You want to read it? Sure. <clears throat> So then, brothers, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ provided, we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. So what are your thoughts? I don't know. I guess I'm kind of confused. Confused about what? Well, it talks about living according to the flesh and living by the spirit. I don't know, TJ. It's getting my mind mixed up with like a weird bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I get it. So it's kind of like when you were talking about those states that have rules. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, some of them are kind of weird. But but what if, for example, you were to leave Florida, where you live right now, and go to Montana? Would you still follow the same rules that only apply to Florida? Well, no, because I'd be living in a completely different place and with completely different rules. Exactly. So you see, when you choose to live in different places, you follow different rules. And sometimes those new places have actually more freedom. More freedom? Of course. You see, these verses were written by Paul, and he was passionate about sharing the truth of transformation. Like Transformers? Uh, not quite. <laughs> Look at it like this. You see, when we're born into this world, we're born with a set of rules, right? And then the world teaches us more rules. But the world's rules and God's rules are incredibly different. In what way? Well, the world's rules are about what we want and ultimately lead us nowhere. But God's rules protect us, they give us purpose, and they fill us with life. Huh, wow, I never thought about it like that. Right? God has given us a chance to have a wonderful life. And all we have to do is believe in Jesus and live out our faith. And once we do that, we become a part of something greater. What would that be? The family of God. Wow, the family of God? Believing and living out my faith sounds a little difficult, but I bet I can do it. Man, I know you can, especially with the help of the Holy Spirit, because without the Holy Spirit, none of it would be possible. Wow, how cool. The Holy Spirit makes us part of God's family. Carl, guess what? That's our big idea. TJ, no, I did. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit makes, makes us a part, part of God's family. God's family. Yes. yes! Good job, everyone. We are now in the family of God. We're, we're the sons and daughters of God. 
We are heirs, not hairs. So do you feel better about your trip down, Carl? I sure do. TJ, I sure do. Oh, no. What? Were you planning to take a trip to Missouri? Yeah, my cousin Clyde lives there. Why? Looks like bear wrestling there is illegal. Oh, come on! What are we supposed to do after church then? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> See you kids next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. I'm back with another object lesson. And I saved the best for the last week. Skittles. Who doesn't love Skittles? And you know what? Today, we're the Skittles. All lined up on this plate. I'm going to pour some water on it. And the water represents the Holy Spirit. I'm gonna pour it in and we're gonna watch what happens. Here we go. Let's watch the magic happen. You see all the color starting to leak out? It's steaming too, the water was hot. Oh, very cool. It's starting to bleed into one another. Very cool. See, we're all part of the body of Christ because we have one purpose, and that's to follow Jesus. And so when the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, we all have different gifts, and we all work together. See, a rainbow just doesn't consist of one color. It's a bunch of colors together. That's just like the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit makes us part of God's family. So let's remember that with our cool Skittle object lesson. When Jesus came to the earth, the rules changed. He came so we could have a closer relationship with God, that sin no longer separated us from God. Now we could have a relationship because of Jesus' sacrifice. We were invited into a new family because of the Holy Spirit, where we were giving rules on how to be patient, be kind, to put others before ourselves, to find joy even in a pandemic. Let's remember this week that the Holy Spirit makes us part of God's family. This is a great reminder in the times that we're in. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, God. We thank you for the laws and, and the rules that came when Jesus came, God, that, that we learn to love and be patient and kind with others, God, that we could find joy even when things were so hard, God. And right now, God, things are so hard. And we are lost without you. We thank you for your spirit that guides us and protects us, God. And that helps us to look forward to a future, God. A future in you being part of your family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Great month hanging out with you guys. Make sure you check out your packet with all the fun activities in it. And if you don't have one, you can check out how to get one in the link below, as well as like this video, share it with your friends, and make sure you check out the discussion questions coming up next. See you next month. Bye for now.